I had something written that was an indictment of John Burton. And it was all piss and fury and all that stuff. And then the legal people had to look at it and they said, you can't fucking say any of that. But somebody who used to work in her office said that she wrote a letter to Donald Trump that was to be hand delivered by Enda Kenny on March 17th. And that as long as I agreed to complete anonymity, she would leak the letter to me. So instead of giving it to the media, with your permission, I'll read it to you first. It's dated March 17th, 2017. How are you, Donny? Is it okay to call you Donny? I feel it is since we share the same hairdresser. Please make sure Enda is not around when you're reading this. He's a fucking moron. But you know that already, don't you? As my good friend in government, Simon, is fond of saying, we truly are the normalization of obscenity. I'm very impressed with how you are doing business. The whole oligarch fascist thing is a little bit outdated to me, but as my former right-hand man, Alan, used to say, if the pigs want shit, then drop your panties and give them shit. Poor Alan, he makes your Sean Spicer sound articulate. But here's the point. If there's one thing being in government in the land of leprechauns has taught us is that you are not being ambitious enough in your new fascism. You got into big trouble for wanting to register migrants. What were you thinking? Me and Ender just removed all refugees' rights and interned them in direct provision camps. Let's see how much they dream of a bright future living in fucking hell. You were admonished for ridiculing the disabled. I mean, what's so fucking special about their needs anyway? Me and Ender just pulled all financial support for all basic dignities and taught them the real meaning of suffering. It is God's will after all. You were attacked for threatening ethnic groups. Jesus, they're called minorities for a reason. Me and Ender just let a bunch of them burn to death in a camp, then dumped the survivors in a car park. If that sounds harsh, Donnie, don't worry. They were travelers, they're not real people. You were belittled for being a slum landlord. Like that's somehow a bad thing? Me and Enda and Simon just threw entire families out onto the street. The kids were fat bastards anyway. A starvation diet will do them some good. You were savage for saying, grab them by the pussy. I'm a feminist and I have to say I find that kind of kinky. Me and Enda just took control of women's entire bodily autonomy and grabbed them by the ovaries repeal the hate. You were attacked for empowering the police force. I mean, come on, the clue is in the word force. Me and Enda and the commissioner and her husband just made the police our private army and used them to smash all citizens' rights. Would have been a shame to waste all that riot gear. Ireland is more than red carpets at your airplane and Neiman at your golf balls, Donny. Have you heard of a place called Tala? It's like South Central LA with horses. And let me tell you, Donny, members of Mensa, these locals are not. Remember that scene in the film Deliverance? The vacant eyed rednecks dueling banjos? That's Tala. This entire country is ripe for the plucking, Donny. You know that Stockholm syndrome where the abused falls in love with the abuser? Sweden has just petitioned the United Nations to have Stockholm syndrome more accurately renamed Ireland syndrome because they claim no abused nation loves its abusers more than the Irish. They're a strange people, Donny. No fight in them. Docile. Well, until recently. But we're stopping that. I was doing a PR scam in the Datala place and they had a sit-down protest in front of my car. If they had done to me what I had done to them for years, I would have killed them. But all they did was refuse to move. Not exactly a revolution, is it, Donnie? Instead of Molotov cocktails, all they threw were insults. I was in the car, on the phone, happy with the break, to be honest, and they just sat there. It lasted a while and it was over, and like all these things, it ended with me untouched and their pathetic lives unchanged. They called the place Jobstown, which is funny because I took all the jobs out of that town. <laughs> then Donnie, and I think you'd be proud of this, 
the commissioner's husband and his henchmen dragged a bunch of the protesters out of their homes and charged them with false imprisonment, which, when found guilty, and they fucking will be, gets them a life sentence. Now, how smart is that, Donnie? We create this ingenious circus and get to try an entire class of people in a rigged court. It's March now, and I bet nobody will even start a campaign to protect the poor basses when we drag them into court at the end of April. They're not all working class, but you know, lie with fleas and all that. We'll have crushed this ridiculous anti-water tax campaign by then too, the final nail on the coffin of protest. We'll also have my other friend, Leo, demonize the working class even more by running campaigns to criminalize people on welfare. Leo may be gay, Donnie, but don't worry, his politics are as straight as Benito Mussolini. Ender will invite you to Ireland, Donnie, but I'm extending that invitation. He will be replaced as leader immediately after his visit to you. There's no way he will see the end of March. The commissioner will be gone too, and her husband, and the minister for justice. With the sick shit these four have gotten up to, there's no way they can survive. They'll be gone by April, I guarantee it. Might even be in jail themselves by then. I can be of real value to you, Donnie. If you check my record, you'll see I have screwed over the working class multiple times, and it doesn't bother me that they despise me. I can't of, I'm proud of it. These people are just the shit I wipe off the bottom of my high heels. You know the kind of people I'm talking about, Donnie, like Mexicans. I have shown to Europe and America that I'm willing to betray my people and piss on Jim Larkin's legacy. I am the man for the job, Donnie. Whatever the job may be, put my name on it. Let me know what you need, oil-wise, gas-wise, or golf course-wise, and I'll make sure it happens. Hell, if you're in the market for a little water, I know a woman who knows a man. <laughs> Love and kisses to Melania and the kids, and never forget, you can use Shannon any day to torture any towel head. Joni. P.S. Keep a listen out for the Jobstown trial. The dumb bastards have even allowed the Director of Public Prosecutions to stack the jury completely in the prosecution's favor. It's illegal, unethical, and despicable, but hey, we are the normalization of obscenity. PPS. If that sounds harsh about the trial, Donnie, don't worry. They're from Tala. They're not real people.